Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss the shocking truth about Shailene Woodley. Let's get right into it. Shailene Diane Woodley is an actress from the United States. Woodley was born in San Bernardino, California and reared in Simi Valley. At the age of four, she began modeling and acting professionally in modest television appearances. She rose to notoriety after acting in the ABC family drama series The Secret Life of the American Teenager as Amy Jurgens. Though she's not ready to talk about it in explicit terms, Shailene Woodley spoke about a very scary physical situation she endured in her early 20s at the height of her rising fame while making the Divergent films. Woodley told Kyle Buchanan of the New York Times that she was very, very sick, prompting her to let go of her career for a while and pass on high-profile parts that went to her colleagues. I haven't spoke much about this publicly yet, and I will one day, but I was very, very sick in my early 20s. While I was doing the Divergent movies and working hard, I was also struggling with a deeply personal, very scary physical situation, she said. Because of that, I said no to a lot of opportunities because I needed to get better, and those jobs ended up going to peers of mine who I love. They went on to a lot of success, but there was a mix of people saying, you shouldn't have let that go, or you shouldn't have been sick. Woodley is presently starring in Drake Dormus' romance drama, Endings, Beginnings, which was released digitally on April 17th and on VOD on May 1st instead of in theatres. The 28-year-old actress stayed busy in indies, studio productions and on TV as haunting single mom, Jane Chapman, in Big Little Lies after breakout performances in The Descendants and The Spectacular Now, as well as finishing the three Divergent films. Her consistent productivity, however, was not without internal conflict, according to the New York Times report. She said that letting go of projects while taking care of herself combined with my own internal process of, am I going to survive what I'm going through right now and ever be healthy or even have the opportunity to work on projects I'm passionate about again because of the situation I'm in. I was in a place where I had no choice but to just surrender and let go of my career and it brought out this negative voice in my mind that kept spinning for years and years afterward. Woodley said, however, that she's in a better place. Now I'm on the other side of it, thank God. Her upcoming films, including the war drama Prisoner 760 with Benedict Cumberbatch and the romantic drama Last Letter from Your Lover opposite Felicity Jones. Less than a week after his breakup from Shailene Woodley was revealed, Aaron Rodgers provided some encouraging thoughts regarding partnerships. On Sunday, February 20th, the NFL player posted an image of a tweet from motivational speaker Aubrey Marcus on his Instagram story, accompanied by two red heart emojis. Before presenting an inspirational message, the author of Own the Day, Own Your Life said, The rarest gift you can give is love. I love you no matter what, just as you are, and you are always forgiven. The image reads, I expect nothing and I'm grateful for everything. I give you the truth only and always. You are learning in the perfect way. Marcus added via Twitter, give this gift to yourself first. Alongside the Instagram image of the tweet, the Aubrey Marcus podcast host added, there are a lot of ways we try to show love. There are even books written about love languages, but love in its raw and wild form needs no translation. It just is. Give love and you give the gift of a king or queen at the price any pauper can pay. The heartfelt remarks come just days after numerous sources told Us Weekly on Wednesday, February 16th, that Rogers and the Big Little Lies star had broken up. Rogers collected his fourth MVP trophy at the NFL Honors Ceremony on February 11th without mentioning Woodley, prompting the split rumors. He had declared their engagement a year before on the same occasion, thanking his fiance for the help. This year's event in Tampa, Florida saw the quarterback deliver a completely professional address. Shailene has been super busy with work, a source exclusively told us after the split, noting that Rogers is always focused on football. The insider continued, everything was so different during the lockdown and they had been living in their bubble. Friends of Shailene didn't believe Aaron is the best match for her. The Green Bay Packers player previously insisted that they could handle a little distance. I think it's going to be a good thing. I mean, her work was shut down for an entire year during the coronavirus pandemic and she's booked a number of projects, he told Hot Living in September 2021. She enjoys working and her own routine, which I obviously enjoy too. Another insider claimed that after getting caught up in their whirlwind relationship and engagement, they realized they weren't meant to be life partners after spending some time apart. They thought they were a good match for each other in the beginning, but the more they got to know each other, they realized their careers, their interests, and their political views weren't aligned, the insider explained. The breakup was low-key, the source said to us, with no grudges held by the Descendant star or Rogers. It was an amicable split and they are on good terms now. 
That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.